The Asian American population in the U.S. is comprised of people having origins in the Far East, Southeast Asia, or the Indian subcontinent. According to the 2015 census, there are 17.3 million Asian Americans living in the United States. They account for 5.4% of the nation's population and have mainly a bicoastal distribution. It's one of the fastest growing minority groups. As immigrants, Asian Americans, like anyone else, experience emotional and behavioral problems. They tend to underuse services unless they are culturally and linguistically compatible. Be aware that this group encompasses a tremendous heterogeneity in language, culture, religious traditions, dietary practices, and immigration history. Asians differ from their Western counterparts in their view of self, the mind-body interface, and their approach to mental health care, and in their response to psychotropic medications. Language fluency varies among Asian American groups, so does educational attainment. Economic status varies as well among Asian populations in the U.S. Some negative factors are infrequent medical visits due to the fear of deportation, language and cultural barriers, and the lack of health insurance. So evaluation and treatment must include an awareness of language barriers, cultural norms, and the lack of access to care. Also, stigma and discrimination that exists in the community. The social settings where care may be more accessible or accepted, culturally sanctioned idioms of distress that vary among subgroups, the use of unconventional treatments such as herbal medicine and spiritual healing, and the role of the family and community in decision-making. Also, a slower metabolism of drugs indicating the need for lower doses. An awareness that cognitive behavioral therapy may work better than insight-oriented psychotherapy. What are our recommended systemic solutions? Increased awareness, education and outreach to address racial or ethnic minority health and health disparities, both for patients and caregivers, health equity and ethical care, improved access to and appropriate utilization of health and other community-based services and systems through user-centered design for racial and ethnic minorities, training and language facility to correctly diagnose and treat patients without cultural bias, strengthen leadership and coordination to leverage resources and enhance effectiveness and efficiency of individual and collective efforts. We must use research and data to support our efforts. Thank mm -hmm. you.